Hi, Tibbies, it's Star, and um, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, a health issue that I have, and you'll notice me moving a lot while I'm doing the videos. Um, I have a disease called uh, spondylosis myelopathy. Okay, now, in layman's terms, what that is, is I have a degeneration of the, the column that holds the spinal cord. Um, it's usually an older person's disease, but I've had it for the past 27 years. Um, I've had um, a broken neck from it, which if you can see I have a, I don't know if you can see the scar right there. Um, it makes my bones real brittle. It's not osteoporosis, it's spondylosis myelopathy. Um, the spinal cord is surrounded by a, a casing. Well, that casing around my spinal cord has thin, and my spinal cord floats in there, and my bones, from not having the brace, um, the extra cushion from the spinal cord, or from the spinal column, um, makes my vertebrae and stuff float in there, and they break really easy. Um, I broke two vertebrae in my neck from doing laundry, and that was, uh, see, it's been four years now. Um, I'm doing fine, um, but the myelopathy part of it um, means a sick spinal cord. Um, I have a lot of issues with um, sensory in my legs and my arms um, to where I can't distinguish my skin, can't distinguish the difference between hot and cold. Um, I forget things sometimes. <laughs> that could be age though. Um, but yeah, you'll notice me move a lot because I get a lot of, uh, I have a lot of nerve damage from it. Um, and what it is, it was would be like almost an involuntary reflex. Um, my re it's affected my reflexes because my spinal cord was damaged from it. Um, but yeah, you'll see me jerk a lot and move a lot. And I don't want you guys to think I'm like, wigged out or something because I'm not. It's I can't help it. Um, my my nerves and reflexes just react that way and it's just part of who I am. I've lived with it for 27 years. Um, like I said, it's kind of boring. I mean, it's not, it's not really debilitating, but it is in a sense that I can't sit for very long. I can't walk for very long. Um, my, I go to pick things up and I drop them because I have no, none of that sensory feeling. Um, the way I found out about it was I had gotten into a bathtub and the water was too hot and I couldn't tell. Um, it felt cold to me. Um, so I went to the doctor and they tried telling me it was all in my head that you know and they checked me for the normal things the diabetes because the uh, peripheral neuropathy which is the touch um, sensations that we have on our skin um, a lot of diabetics have that problem um, it wasn't diabetes it wasn't this it wasn't that and um, about four years ago, I was doing laundry, and I reached into the washer and to pull the clothes out, to bend over and put them in the dryer, and my neck popped. And crazy me, I just thought that my neck had popped, just like any other bone pops when it's out of place. So I go to bed, and the next morning, I could not feel my left side from my neck down. Um, well, I panicked. I thought everything, a stroke, um, heart attack, all of that. So we went to the doctor, and the doctor at the 
the emergency rooms told me you are very lucky because you've got you've got a broken neck and that's just how simple it happens but you know I don't want no compassion I don't want anybody feeling sorry for me because I'm doing fine you'll notice sometimes that um, I look swollen that's because um, the disease itself causes extra inflammation in the body and I've chosen um, not to take some of the medicines that they've prescribed for me because I'm all about the natural. Um, not taking the medicines isn't going to hurt me, they said. Um, it just keeps down a lot of that swelling and stuff. So, And the camera puts 10 pounds, 20 pounds on me anyways. <laughs> so it's really bad for me. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that's why I move a lot and you'll see me you'll you'll see me move this way or that way or lean forward or lean back or you know, raise up, but it's because my spine is really messed up. Um, nothing I can do about it, it's not curable. Um, it's just hopefully the doctors are hoping that it doesn't move any further than I've got it in two places. I've got it in the cervical spine, which is in the neck, and um, in the lumbar region. And there was a touch of it in the thoracic region, but they weren't too concerned about it. Um, they're more concerned about the cervical part of it because that's what makes your body function. Um, but yeah, I'm doing okay. Um, no really major issues going on. I just wanted to let you know why I jerk a lot, and why I move a lot, and fidgety is because of that. So that's what it is. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, have a blessed day and love and light to you guys. Bye.